Hey guys, welcome back to part three of the last... <laughs> what am I doing? Hey guys, welcome back to part three of my Hogwarts Legacy playthrough series. If you're new here, hi, hello, thanks for checking out my video. My name is Nixie, and if you haven't seen the previous videos in the series, I will link those in the I and down below. Make sure you go check those out first. To give you a quick recap of where we are, I have put off going to class longer than I thought possible. I was so busy exploring Hogwarts and just seeing all that it had to offer, and I feel like it's time to finally go to class. So on today's agenda, we have the Defense Against the Dark Arts class, Charms class, and then we're gonna meet with Professor Weasley and hopefully be on our way to Hogsmeade. If you're enjoying the Hogwarts Legacy gameplay and you wanna see more videos like this, like this video to let me know you like this kind of content. It really helps out my channel. Share this video with your friends. Leave a comment down below and let me know what house you're in or what your favorite part of the game has been so far. And make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. All right, let's play Hogwarts Legacy. All right, let's uh, let's go to class. Is that all you've got? Uh, oh, but... so. Professor Hackett! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in Eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso. This is so cool. A levitation charm. Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned. What does she mean Starting as an unspeakable? With something small. Steady your wand. And guys, got it. Now, let's try something a little larger. Okay. Let us begin with a basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember. Good. Now, the basic cast. Levioso. Very good, but the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelists, I should have let her talk, marks. but I'm too Sorry excited. For a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. This should be easy. Tego. Complicated stage. Good form. I know. This can't be your first duel. I'm all my students for this event. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. Thanks, buddy. 
Not so bad yourself. I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Ravenclaw. Thank you, Professor Heckert. Yes, thank Glad you. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, I love her. is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right. That's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. If you know the right spells, it's dark wizards that'll fear you, not the other way around. You drooled Sebastian. He's strong competition. Well done. Adelaide, thanks. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. I've had my share of wand combat. It was. I've never used my wand in combat. Have I used my wand in combat? I don't think I have. But I'm not trying to come across as, like, bragging. Right? I want everyone to like me so I can be as under the radar as I need to be. I guess I've had a couple. I've dueled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Okay, huh. no? Fair enough. You owe me an honest duel when you aren't. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Sounds intriguing, sounds suspicious. Intriguing for sure. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. <laughs> yes. Excellent. I knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck. Or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. It was luck. Till next time. Yay! We completed a quest. Alright, let's see what we got. We gotta go to charms class next. And I have to talk to Lucian. Lucian. So we have to go to charms class, but we should talk to him. Do love a good side quest. Gotta figure out how to get there. All right, let's talk about. Let's be smarter. Should I go to class first? Yeah, let's go get class done first. Because I've been putting that off. And it might not even be that bad. Oh, I have to change the map. Mm -mm. Alright. Let us go to class. Get charms class out of the way. Perfect. Stargazing given up. Not a cloud in the sky. I've 
Let's go see Lucian first. No, let's go to class first. We're gonna go to class first. All right, let's go to class. Here, behind you. Oh, look at the little dragon. There is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Uh, 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 I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Oh, no. Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now, let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning <laughs> them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Study your wand. All right. Akio. That is not bad. You oh, are a you. swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me. He said, after me. Okay, class wasn't bad at all. I thought that was going to be way worse than it really was. I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with Classes mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> cool. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him go! So why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? <laughs> Very simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres. Accio pulls the target closer to the charm at the last Happy assigned moment. key. Now, uh, the think of this like a target cluster. Have the key to see. But test. instead of throwing the marbles out, you are summoning them toward you. The trick is to pull this very good. Not to worry. Oh, I see. Okay. Splendid. That's it. Cool. Very good. Points to Ravenclaw. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge?
come on up. You'll be the blues, just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Yeah, I think I have to tap it to <laughs> let it go. We well past interesting at this point. <laughs> I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Be sharp. Yeah, okay, so you have to tap it, that's why. Very good. Watch this. When I don't think about it, I play perfectly fine, and then when I think about it, I mess it up. <laughs> I know everyone is watching, but try not to be nervous. You are doing quite well. Here we go. Yay. That's two out of three. Very good, both of you. Well done. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Good game back there. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. It took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. I'm glad you understand. I'm holding my own. I'm glad you understand. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Nice to meet you. How big is... Is magic the same? This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. Wagadu. That's incredible. Surely the magic is weaker. That's incredible. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. This is true. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Yeah, what does Wagadu? Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved cool. out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. Cool. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Oh, something is in my ah, eye. I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Oh, where's my mirror? Of course, you can use Akio on humans. 
if you're so inclined. Well, you'd be using it on clothing, to be precise, Bastion. You know it won't work on humans. Whatever's in my eye, out of my eye. What does our day entail? Alright, let us talk to A the word, professor. If you would. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? You did well, managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Awesome. My brother learned the summoning charm. It was constant Accio this, Accio that, cutlery flying everywhere. <laughs> Quite, Quite unsafe, unsafe, really. Professor Ronan reminds me of my grandfather. Loads of wisdom, but a bit mad. These kids don't know how cool it is to be here. Revelio. Hello. How was your first day coming along? Hello, Samantha. Nice to see you again. I wondered how your first day was going. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. That's kind of you to say. Wasn't too challenging. That's kind. I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. <laughs> My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. Potato. Oh, map. All right, so let us look around a little bit more and then we are off to meet Professor Weasley. Oh, Katie. Yeah. Oh, Katie, there's a kitty. Hmm. I'm a simple man. I see a cat, I pet. Oh my God. They're so freaking cute. I love them. Oh, there's another one. Hello, kitty. Oh my gosh. They're so freaking cute. Oh, a chest. Yeah, money. What is he doing? Please, enough! You'll get us all detention. Oh, and you're both wrong anyway. It was Hephaestus Gore. It wasn't Boots and it wasn't Flack, but you're all in trouble with Professor Black. <laughs> Lovely. When What's over here? How it's locked. Sure okay. It next to a dead body. All right. What's up here? What is this? Rebellion. What are you supposed to do? Olivia, 
<gasps> cool. What was it a guide for? Oh, collect a field guide. Okay. Check out the globe and the telescope. All right, let's go upstairs and see what's upstairs. <gasps> Wait a minute. Dang. Oh my God, how cool would that be to be able to like fall asleep to that every night? It's so pretty. How cool would that be to have in your bedroom? Oh my god. It's taking everything I have not to just paint my ceilings. You have no idea. I'm gonna take a picture of it. That's how much I love it. I've just been taking pictures of everything in game, like remake this. Uh, do this. I'm obsessed. All right. It's so good. It's so cool. I love this game so hard. What else is there to see? Oh. Tapestry of Barnabas the Barmy. This tapestry depicts the wizard Barnabas the Barmy's foolish attempt to train trolls for the ballet. One can only imagine the impact on the arts had he succeeded. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to move my mic back a little bit because I get kind of excited and my P's and S's are a little poppy. Oh my god, look at it. Oh no. Rebellion. All right, what's up here? Oh, the floor noise. You moved first. Wow. Revenia. Handy resource indeed. Wow. What is this? My dear Satvi, oh gosh. My dear Satyavadi. Satyavadi, Satyavadi. My dear Satyavadi, maybe? You'll be pleased to hear that I received word from my contacts at Cambridge who conceded that they have in fact been incorrect in their understanding of meteor showers. It seems that an Irish astronomer and a British astronomer both built upon the work done by an Italian astronomer. All muggles, mind you, as far as I know. To propose calculating the position of the dust at Earth's orbit as means of connecting meteors to comets. Brilliant, really. One can only imagine what they might do with an enchanted telescope. Frustratingly, in my correspondence, I did feel that I had to continue using the pseudonym from my days as a gentleman scholar. Whilst I still find it rather exciting to have a secret identity, the reason irks me. I'm so looking forward to our trip later this year to Jantar Mantar. What? Jartar Mantar? Jartar Martar? I'm not sure, I can't tell. What an adventure we shall have. I miss you, dear sister, and do hope you are well. With love, Sucharita. Probably not saying that right either. I'm trying my best. Rebellion. 
Oh, the lock. Okay. Look at this glass room. Oh my god, the, the, just, uh, the money, the need I have for a light like that. How cool would it be if I just had that light above me? <laughs> oh my god. I'd be so excited. What are you up to now? For a minute I thought it was her talking to me and I was about to be offended. Avelio. Alright. What do we have here? My galleons at honey dupes and just on fizzing whizbees. I'd love to have a house in one of the nearby hamlets. Ooh! Yes, another mob. My fave. When my grandfather went to the school, he didn't Wigan Weld Potion. So I just need to find the moth. No big deal. Oh my god, what am I doing? I forgot to light up the photo. <laughs> Idiot. Okay. Lumos. Telescope looking with an open window. Okay, so probably upstairs. So I was Rebellion. probably in the right way. Little owl. I don't want to hurt you. Lumos. Oh. You're so cute. Oh my god. This game. Are you kidding me with this? Look at this game. Oh my God, look at this. I wish I had a better graphics card. Oh my God, I wish I had a better graphics card so bad, but look at this. This is so cool. Revenia. Astronomy Telescope. This telescope is the finest stargazing instrument of its kind, perfect for viewing the moon and stars and anything else one might find in the night sky. This is so cool. It's so cool. Oh my god.
Right. Blue Come with me, little moth. Come, friend. Wait a minute. What happens if I take you over by the owl? Pretty cool, right? No, it's not. It is cool. All right. I'm glad you think so. Oh my god, I love it so much. <gasps> oh, I thought it didn't go back. Man, this area is so cool. Rebellion. so good it's just it's so good oh I love it all right let us go all right so our next step is mm, our next step is we should go meet up with professor Weasley and see what that adventure has in store for us. These stairs, this building, just the size of the castle is so crazy. I just, I'm, I'm so impressed. you all right what do we have here Weasley after class what about the room professor I was thinking the same thing Deke perhaps you what could room? help <laughs> oh excuse Deke ah there oh. you are that's what that animation is. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me, isn't there? Hasn't Professor Fig said anything? No, Professor. Do I want to know if Professor, if the professor has said anything? Well, he said it's best not to tell her because she might tell the headmaster, so no. Nothing more, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streela. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. <laughs> In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Professor Ronan mentioned that. What? More work? What if it's actually like, what? More work? Thank you so much. Like, how would you actually know what tone it's in? Professor Ronan mentioned that.
I'm gonna be snarky. I'm not sure I have time for extra assignments, Professor. You shall find the time. You'd be astonished to know just how much you don't know. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. There, okay, so there's really an Ollivander's here? There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. That's Ollivander lucky. is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. It's also really good business, if you think about it, right? Set up shop next to the place that has the people that need the things that you make. So like the castle where the kids need the wands, that's where you have shops at. Uh, what more can you tell Can you tell me more about the potion shop, Professor? Jay Pippin's potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asked that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. All right, what's a spellcraft? I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. Uh, I'm ready to go. Okay. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. Yes. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. Natsai or Sebastian. I'm going to go with Sebastian. I'd like to go with Sebastian. Glad to hear it. Mr. Sallow is a capable young wizard. And he knows the area. He'll keep you well Those clear windows. of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend Theophilus. will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Okay, so Rookwood is a bad guy, apparently. Got it. What is going on with the lighting changing? Oh, speak to Professor Ronan to receive your first assignment. Assignments are types of quests given to you by the Hogwarts professors that, when completed, reward you with new spells. The reward for completing your first assignment will be the Mending Charm, Reparo, which is required to complete other quests. You can track assignments and their progress in the quest menu of your field guide. Dude, Reparo in real life would be so amazing. It really would. Revelio. Is there anything cool in here? A locked door? There's a box. What's in the box? Oh, it's a chest. Ooh. Speaking of that, do I have any cool gear that I didn't put on? Letter. A letter to Professor Shaw from her sister. Oh? Oh, that's the one we got earlier. Yep, okay. Ooh, I didn't even know I had a better robe. Alright, well, we're gonna wear that. Ooh, this is cute. Love it living for it. It's adorable. Oh my god, I love it so much. Okay. This changes everything. Mm, five more points. Character creators that are good. Dress up sims. Big fan. Oh wait, is there anything else in here? Revenia. Oh. 
Nothing else. Got it. Off on another adventure, are we? I already pet that cat. We're good. Look at him. Oh my god, I love it. Ah, there you are. Look at the owl. Hello, Professor. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm, it seems Sounds as if that lovely. might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors yes. have agreed to do so as well. But first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Ropero in no time. It's trimming the bush. It's trimming the bush. Oh my God, I love it. Okay, what is the purpose of the tasks? Why must I first complete tasks to learn Ropero? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience. And these tasks should provide you with just that. Okay, that's Such fair. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. Okay, okay. I'll do it. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. This is the right area. Got it! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That actually went better than expected. A flying page must be around here somewhere. Brilliant! Ooh, yes. Okay. Ooh. All right. I was worried because I turned off targeting that it might make it clunky, but that actually went okay. I trust the preliminary tasks weren't too much trouble. No, I sir. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Some vigor? You got it, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. This would be so cool in VR. I will never not think. Oh. Yeah. Heck yeah. The mending charm repair can be used to mend broken objects and pieces of the environment. Oh. That's cool. I'll get to do my own spells instead of just watching Professor Fig fix things. Oh my god, I love that. That didn't even hit me until now. That's it. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. I would it love to. allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Hmm. Thanks for the suggestion, Professor. All right, so Reparo is three. Reparo. Nicely done. Works like a charm, doesn't it? <laughs> oh my god, I need that in real life. Oh, that was so nice. I love it. All right, so what's the next thing? I guess going off to Hogsmeade, I assume. Yeah, so I gotta meet Sebastian. All right. Which is this way. No, it's not. I gotta go through the door. Okay. Professor. 
Oh no no. Got it. Ooh, that did not go as smoothly. I don't need to go this way. Um, I need to go up and then use. Oh my god! Yes! <gasps> if that isn't the coolest thing ever. I love it so much. Not sure we should study for the astronomy exam in the library. Ooh, what's this way? <gasps> the library! Oh my god, I've been looking for you! Rebellio. Building is so confusing. Professor Black, might I suggest a ban on magic in the library? Someone has been sneaking into the restricted section and Cressida Bloom seems to think of the library as her own personal arena in which to practice her latest incantations. It is most disruptive. One might consider Peeves tame by comparison to such antics. Oh. Sounds a bit extreme. Oh. Look at that. That would look so good in here. I would love to have that in real life. Oh my god. In my stream room? Yes, please. This is so cool. The restricted section. It calls to me. Rebellion. What's upstairs like? Ooh, come here, Paige. Is it pinging? There better be an achievement for spinning globes. Like a no earth left untouched or something. Oh, did I just see another moth picture? I did. <gasps> and a chest. Let's do the moth picture first. Lumos. Okay. Uh, I'm assuming that's in here, but I don't know where. Oh, over there. Okay. I spoke too soon. I do know where. Oh, and I gotta hit it with the field guide. Rebellion. Hold on, little moth. One second. The old librarian. One of the first librarians of Hogwarts is depicted here. Rumor is that he had no tolerance whatsoever for noisy students and was known for his liberal use of the silencing charm at the slightest sneeze. No. Oh man, that would be the worst if somebody hushed you yes. after you sneezed. I don't know if I could think of a worse thing. I absolutely love these moth tasks. Oh, over here. Where am I going? Alright. Thank you. Some more 
more cash. All right. Um. Revenia. It's like there's something maybe below me. Oh. There's just so much stuff to look at. And there's just not enough time in the day. Oh my god. Where are you? Is it just the lock pinging this entire time? Oh, and maybe the chest. Yeah, okay. Okay, so. I don't see the harm. It's a relief to finally have an answer as to why that portrait was empty. Revenia. Here we go. Central Hall Fountain. This ornate fountain features intricately carved statues of Denzians of the magical world, including a set of stone sirens encircling the fountain's base. It is so cool. Oh, a collection updated. What? Oh, I got gear? No, I got extra notes. I did not get gear. Challenges. Oh, we got the hat. Okay. We're getting closer. <laughs> Let's go see what the hat looks like. Oh, headwear. What am I doing? Oh, well. It's a hat. <laughs> uh, what about... No. Thank you. Thank you, but no thank you. Okay. Rebellion. All right, well, I suppose it is now time to go meet up with Sebastian. Oh, I went in there before. Him. Oh, it doesn't do anything. Revelio. I saw you. Be nice to your friend. Okay, now we're down front. And Sebastian. Well, fancy meeting you here. It is. All right. <laughs> All right. I think this is just as good of a time as any to stop. Okay, so far I'm loving the gameplay. My biggest complaints are the lighting and the graphics realistically. Like I just feel like it could be a little bit better. I mean, the lighting 
is so scuffed. But again, it could just be me. It could be my settings. It could be how I set it up. It could be the targeting and everything else that I've turned on and off a million times to try. So until I know for certain that the game is like, you know, gorgeous and it's definitely my PC, I don't want to say that that's what it is. But I do think the graphics could be a little bit better. The gameplay, I love it. It's beautiful. I can't wait to explore more. I can't wait to see what the rest of the entire game has to offer us. And I hope you guys are just as excited for it. In our next video, we will be exploring Hogsmeade. So you got that to look forward to. And I hope you guys like the video. If you're still here, leave me a... Leave me some kind of a container emoji in the comments to let me know you made it all the way through. And I will see you guys in our next video when we go to Hogsmeade. Bye! Black velvet with that slow southern style. All right, let's check that. All right, let's check that. I'm on a swivel chair. I have like a plethora of chairs that I swap out for at my gaming PC. I have to not swivel. I just want to let you guys know that it takes me forever to edit this down. I mean, come on. How easy do you think it really is to make a comment from Tom from MySpace? So, you know, just know that I'm trying. I hope you enjoyed the video.